actually, I can't tell that they're not my real teeth. It was just, it was amazing. But really, I mean, it's, it's been like night and day, you know, no difference. I mean, it really has. Okay, guys, today we're talking about dental implants. And if you want to know what kind of night and day difference they can make for you, then stay tuned. Missing teeth? Tired of dentures? We can help. Sam, tell me about the evolution of your practice since whenever you started going down the path of educating yourself on implants to where you are right now. It's an exciting topic and one I'm super proud to talk about. You know, I, like I said, uh, when I came out of school, you know, you just see the same stuff over and over. Patients with missing teeth, failing teeth, and, and you want to have a good solution for them. And I just saw the need for implants. In dental school, you're not taught a lot about implants, so when you first come out, you're just not able to really provide that as a service. And, and you know, when I, when I realized, like, look, I've got to get the education to provide this service because I'm so tired of telling patients that all I have is a partial indenture, that's when I sort of took the leap. Uh, I went to a course in Las Vegas, then I went to a, a live surgery course in Iowa a few months later. I kind of became an educational junkie at that point. You know, I moved to a new location. I invested in comb beam technology, which is the 3D x-rays. I took a 3D radiology course in Ohio. Um, you know, I've been to, to Phoenix learning about how to mill and design my own CAD CAM crowns on a computer, you know, six different times. And, you know, then, then I found a guy, believe it or not, through the hunting TV show at the Archery Trade Association Expo that told me that I needed to go to a course down in Bessemer, Alabama. And I know you know all about this because that's where we've both gone. And the course in Bessemer absolutely changed the scope of my practice life and really my entire life after that. I was excited about doing dentistry again. I, I, I learned how to do uh, the most complicated surgery all the way down to the simplest surgery there is and do it with efficiency and, and minimal pain, minimal discomfort. Um, and that's when I came back and really brought those services home and opened up our menu is what I call it as far as mi replacing missing teeth all the way from replacing a single missing tooth to making these full arch prosthetics that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. And it's just something I feel like we need to get the message out there because there's not enough people that know, you know, about that evolution and about the services that we can provide, you know. So talk to me about what our options are because I know that there's a lot of people out there who I know they come in my practice all the time. They think, well, I've got dentures, that's the end of the line. Mm -hmm. You know, we have patients that come in and they're asking about implants. And it, I would say there's, there's a couple of different types of patients that I see most commonly. It's the patients with, you know, lots of missing teeth, but a few teeth left that are usually failing and look pretty bad, you know. Right. Uh, and then the other category of patient is a patient that, you know, probably already has a denture and they're just not happy with it. It falls down when they're out to lunch, when they're with their girlfriends, you know, they're gluing it in all the time. They're so sick of gluing it in. It's just that they don't feel like they have any options. And, and those are, those are really the, the, the type of patients that I see. And those are the most fun people to see because we have the biggest opportunity to help them. The most common thing when I started doing dentures with implants was this lower denture, you know. Everybody talks about the lower denture just floating around and, and a lot of people do pretty well with their upper but you know if you can do something to stabilize that lower to where it's not floating around and to where they can actually bite you know that makes a huge quality of life enhancement um, and that's really you know the first and probably most common thing that I see patients leaning towards especially in this area um, there's a lot of research that shows it increases your bite force four to five times. I know you've done this a ton. What would you say about your patients with the implant denture on the bottom? I'd say that's one of our most uh, common implant procedures is the, the four on the floor, yeah. just like we're talking about. It's fast, 
it can be done very, very quickly. If you already have a denture, many times we can uh, retrofit your current denture to it. And then many times I've had a patient come in, we'll put in the four small implants, we'll retrofit the denture, and then they're done. So that's what's so nice about it. it's fast and the trauma is so little. Yep, yep. The, you know, and the, the great thing about the minis is, I, you know, it's always a challenge to me when I hear patients say, you know, I went to Dr. So-and-so or I went to this place or I went to that place and they told me I didn't have enough bone for implants. Yep. And you know, that's always challenging. And that's what the 3D x-ray allows us to really see because most people are evaluating those patients visually and on a 2D x-ray. Right. I don't know about you, but I, I can't do that very well. No. The other thing that I love about being a general practitioner and placing the implants, and this is something that we can really vouch for because we have our own laboratory that makes these prosthetics and we work hand in hand with, uh, with our denturist, Mark, um, who I'm sure they'll meet at a future video yeah. that uh, you know, works directly with us. But when we're placing these implants, as the person who's gonna build the denture, you can just imagine that, you know, it's kind of like a construction job where you know, you've got the general contractor that knows and is talking directly to the homeowner and they, they are in tune with what the homeowner wants and, and they have the vision together, but then he's subbing out this and he's subbing out that. And it's very similar. The conventional process in the dental world is to, you know, go to uh, uh, one person to place an implant and to go maybe even go to another person to get an x-ray and then to go to you know the third person like us mm -hmm. to actually build the prosthetic which might be the denture or the crown or bridge or whatever and the nice thing about that is that we do it all here we can do it in much less steps because we do it all in one place and we can do it a lot more cost effectively because not only are we placing the implant and making the prosthetic but we own the lab that makes the prosthetic yep. you know and so that's where um, that's where I feel like we have a special service to offer people at a special price point that um, I'm very proud of and it's been uh, you know something that I'm excited about offering a higher-end service for something that's hopefully very affordable for for really almost everybody especially with financing options you know I want to tell a little story I had I, patients sometimes you know, I have a, a 70, 80 year old person come in for a consult. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. I, I, you know, I don't know how long I'm gonna live. And I hear that all the time. I had a guy come in who had four missing teeth. He was 82 years old, uh, really fun guy to talk to. He, I, he, this is an easy guy to remember. I tell this story a lot, but he came in and you know, he had been to a denture clinic and they had told him he needed all his teeth out. And, you know, he saw my ad on TV, and so he came here and he told me, well, I need dentures. And I looked at his mouth and I said, why? I mean, you've got, I don't even want to extract your teeth. I'm going to have to, like, sweat on you to get these teeth out. They're so solid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the rule in my practice is that I will not make you a prosthetic that will not allow you to chew as good as when you walked in my door you have got to walk out chewing better than you did when you walked in. Or I won't do it, I don't want any part of it. You know, we're here to make you better, not make you worse. And you know, I told this guy, I said, man, I don't have, a, a, I don't have an option for you that's gonna allow you to chew as good as you can with these teeth. How about I just give you four single implants? He said, oh, I'm, you know, I don't know, blah, blah. They told me I needed dentures. I said, well, you know, you can chew okay, right? He's like, yeah, I just, you know, I, this doesn't look good. And he wanted to, to be able to chew a little better. We put four implants in on him all at one time, took about 40 minutes total of time to place all the implants, do everything, start to finish from the time he sat in the chair to the time he was done. And he, I called him the next day and he said, uh, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't even tell you did anything to me. And I, I, he's 82 years old, you know. He was driving to Florida the next day drove yeah. through the night. I mean, this guy, he was crazy, but you know, he was a, a really fun patient to work on. And I, and I thought, you know, that changes the game. You know, when you can, who, age is not a factor. If right. you're generally healthy and you have the desire to look better, to chew better, to, to just feel better and, and more confident in yourself and your smile, then who says you can't get an implant?
you know, I don't. Right. And I don't feel like that's a, uh, an isolated case either. I feel like that's, that's the norm. I see them all the time. Exactly. It's, it, you know, a lot of times people think that there's going to be, like I say, a lot of pain, a lot of heal time. And that just really isn't the case with the technology and with a lot of the ways that, that we do things too. I will say that. Um, I always tell people, and something I want everybody to know is that, you know, when you come in for a consult with Joe or I, we're going to let you talk. You know, I want to know, I want to hear your story. I want to know what it is that you want, and I want to know why you're here. This is your time, you know. I, I offer these consults, and I know you do too, you know, completely free, and, you know, we take the x-rays and everything. There's no cost to shop. Everybody needs to know what we can do, and it doesn't have to cost you a thing to do that. You know, and I think that that, I want patients to know that that's their time to tell us why they're here and to really give us their spiel. And, and you know, we can, we, we can stay more objective and use that x-ray to be realistic and tell them what we can and cannot do for them. And, and that's something that I just love doing the consults because we get into great conversations and we get into, sometimes we get into some sad stories and, and you know, you find yourself wanting to help people, you know, and, and, and we, I'm very proud to say we almost always find a way to get something done for people. It's very rare that someone just can't get anything uh, to help them be improved as a person and as, as a chewer, as somebody who wants to eat a steak. Right, you know? right. So. I think everybody wants the same thing. I think everybody wants to be able to sit down, to be able to have their teeth look good, to be able to use their teeth, to chew corn on the cob, bite into an apple, all those things. And that is very, very possible with what we have today. Your patients do that with their, their dentures and their implants? Oh, they you? absolutely do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, okay, so let's go through some of the questions that a patient may ask us, okay? Um, I think we got about a minute here, then we're going to take a break. But let's go through a question or two. You know, one of the most common things that I hear, whether it be on the phone or in the consult, is, you know, what does it cost? You know, so how, how do we address that? And, and let's talk a little bit about case fees and, and, and kind of explain to, to patients how we customize not only their treatment plan, but also the cost of it for them. Right. Well. I very much like you agree with the, the free console is I think that's one of the most exciting things that we do and that's because we really get to figure out yeah what is that person really wanting to achieve what are they really maybe they're not telling everybody the best conversations I have in the office absolutely bar none and that's what's so nice and we can do as little or as much as as you want and that's what's so nice so the cost you know so many times I have conversations with people and you know the first question is how much do implants cost Whenever I start to have a deeper conversation with them, I start to realize that it's, they're not asking what is the cost necessary. What they're trying to ask is what options do I have? What can I do? And just give me something to work with with a budget. And, you know, and that's totally okay. That absolutely. Is absolutely. I, I never okay. have a problem with a patient tell me you know, what they are comfortable with. And that's one of the beautiful things about the lab since, right. since we started the lab is that we've learned more and more about new materials uh, cheaper materials, more expensive materials, and, and you know, we can almost always find a way to meet a budget if, if we're given one, you know, and, I, and that's my goal. I'm here to help you. Like, I don't want to waste your time in this consult. I don't want to waste my time. So, you know, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm proud to say that, you know, we, we help people and we can almost always find a way to make the money work. Right. So we're going to take a short break and then we'll come right back and we'll finish it up for you guys. I was having a lot of trouble chewing, but now I can eat anything. Never had any pain. The pain has been a lot less than what I first anticipated. I can't tell it there. I'm so far I can't know what she's like. Then I want to have all the hassle with the fit type. I have a lot more by force than I had before. I like my T-bone steak and I like my strip sirloin too. It was very changing for me, impressed with the way they work. Oh my gosh. That looks so much better than my real teeth. I was afraid of the pain. I didn't feel any of the work that they did. And it was just, it was amazing. It's been like night and day, you know, difference. I mean, it really has. I mean, if anybody was going to do it, I mean, it, this is what they should do. Not mess around and do anything else, you know. Go with the implants. Yeah, I'm here with Dr. Joe. And we wanted to go over some of the options that we go over in our consults. So, 
Our base and a good place to start is the full denture on the bottom with four small implants. So this can be done if you've lost a lot of bone. Let's say you've had dentures for many years. Uh, these smaller implants we can get where a lot of times the larger implants won't quite fit. Right. So this right here, it snaps down into place on the bottom. And that's especially important on the bottom because those are the ones you that can, the You most. can attach that the same day, right? That you can. Right. Yes, you can. So especially if you already have a denture made, then you can very easily do it the same day. So the patient walks out and they literally have a denture that's attached the same day that they get their implant. Right, they walk in with a floating denture. Maybe it's one that's been floating for years and then one day in an hour or two, they can have that locked down in a way that they're gonna be able to actually choose something. Yeah. It's right. very amazing. This right cool. here is, and I think this is one of the big reasons that we do this, is because this is what changes people's lives. A filling isn't really going to change your life. It's Absolutely. not, you know, a tooth coming in or out won't. But to do something like this, this is what gets people crying in your chair and have happiness and giving you hugs, is because you're doing, in a very short period of time, one or two visits, something that they've fought for literally years. Okay, so let's talk about the upper. What do we have okay. for options on the upper? Now, the upper is... A little bit different in that a lot of times people have a full denture on the top and they have to have the the palate the top of their the roof of the mouth covered with a traditional denture so mm -hmm. that you get suction the nice thing about what we have here is it's the same implants only we have six of them on the top to get a bit more stability and then that fits on there and then it snaps in similar to the bottom mm -hmm. the difference is, is we can cut out the top the roof of the mouth in a way that's gonna allow you to have the texture of the roof of the mouth and also be able to have the taste, mm -hmm. which for people who've had dentures, that's huge. Absolutely, absolutely. The number one thing, I think for people that, that gag, you know, when you can't even get an impression on a denture patient, which we have options for that too, because we can do a digital impression, you know, to where we don't even have to take a physical, you know, at, at, at least at our Ashland location, we can take a digital impression for everyone. So that's a, these are conventional, what we call over dentures. They're, they're, they're made like dentures. They just are snapped on to implants and they are still removable. They come in and out. So, you, you know, for people that are comfortable with a removable appliance, this is a very good option. Right. Right. So now let's, what's this middle of the way option here? This is an upper. Talk to me about the hybrid. What we have right here is basically the same small implants on, in the upper arch. The only difference that we have here is we have a bit more of a rigid, because there's metal in this denture here, so that we can keep it very rigid and also very low profile. This, for example, if someone has um, an, a time where they, where they smile and maybe they show a lot more gum than most, then we need something as low profile as we can, but we still need that strength. Mm -hmm. And that's what this one accomplishes for us. I see a couple of indications for this. First of all, it's only really done on the upper. So, so when you have a patient that has like an existing upper denture with lower natural teeth, that's probably the most common time that I make this. Um, the other time is when, you know, patients just feel like that flange up front makes our lip feel fat and mm -hmm. full and they just can't get used to that. Then we can go to something like this because you can see, you know, you can really see the root form and how it's smaller than the upper conventional as far as the flanging goes and the metal gives it the strength so you know we can we can stand behind this stuff so talk about our last option here well this isn't actually our last option this is one of the many options talk about the last one we're going to talk about today right so the 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 the, the most low profile natural feeling thing that we have is our zirconia bridge it's really not a denture it's really more of a bridge a lot of people have a bridge out there you know a porcelain bridge where you know you're missing a tooth and you have three teeth that are bonded together and we cement them on well this is sort of just an extension of that now I can tell you like if I'm if I'm ever to get a denture this is where I'm gonna go and there's a few reasons why first of all the zirconia is porcelain it doesn't pick up stain like denture teeth can although they're resistant they can um, it doesn't wear so denture teeth, because you have implants, one of the negatives to those is that you have a lot more bite force. Well, that's a good thing, right? But it makes you wear your teeth. So these denture teeth have to be replaced every five to seven, you know, maybe 10 years, you know. Uh, I've certainly seen people get more time out of them than that, but usually they weren't wearing implants. So five to 10 years is really the window that we're expecting the denture teeth to last. The zirconia teeth last forever. They're 
three times as hard as our natural teeth, our natural enamel. They're very beautiful and low profile, so they look like our natural teeth. And it's something that does not come out. Now we can design this, this one comes out. We can design it so that it's removable, but what we ask you in our practice is that you don't take it out. Because we do warranty this, and it's something that comes with a limited warranty, but if you take it out of your mouth, that's void. Okay, so these are, these are easy to clean, but we ask you to let them, uh, let us take them out. And the reason for that is because we don't want you to <laughs> drop this and break it or run over it with your car or my dog ate it or, you know, right. my, my grandson got a hold of it and Lord knows what happens in the sandbox next to the cat turd or something like that. You know, and these are, these are expensive to repair, so it's something that we want to leave in as fixed teeth. We can make these cemented as permanent teeth. Uh, to where literally no one can take them out and you just get a water pick to clean around and underneath it Okay, but this is something that's low profile feels like natural teeth and man, this is the game changer for people This is where I mean this is the smile makeover uh, All of them are good options, but this is definitely the Cadillac. How long has that technology been around? What you're holding right there? Oh, man, this is you know, I would say that there were some people doing it 15 years ago, but just in the last five years has it really gotten to where this is becoming common. And as far as doing this on many implants, this is an innovative prosthetic that we can build with gum on it if we need to, or we can build it low profile like this. But uh, you know what? Let me, I've got one in the lab. Do you? Let me. You know what? I'll just show you guys a real live case. This is obviously kind of an ideal situation. Let's show you what a real live prosthetic looks like when we're doing that. Sounds good. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, so this is something that, you know, is is the exact same thing we're talking about. We've done it on eight implants here again we ask the patient not to remove this they can remove it and lie to us if they want to i'm sure there's plenty of them doing that but you know we ask you not to because we just don't want you to lose it that's the big thing but this is a very very uh similar prosthetic to the model and and something that is super low profile and you can see that it's truly a ring of teeth now we haven't looted this into the mouth yet so the, the little black housings that make it snap on aren't in there. But you can cement this straight onto the implants. And the shade in this patient just happens to be darker. This can all be made any shade that we Yeah, want. any color, any, you, can, you get to pick your color. Right. You know, there's no, we don't have to match four different teeth that are all four different colors. The beautiful thing is, that's why I said it's really a smile makeover because you can pick whatever color you want. Um, and, and, and this is something that we can stain, we can put, characterization in the teeth you know we can make them look like your old teeth you know we ask patients to bring in photos you know a lot of a lot of people hate it when patients bring in photos because it raises the expectation level but you know right. our lab technicians love it when they have photos to reference because we can really achieve that kind of characterization with these prosthetics and that's why it's exciting we're no. trying to get the same look that you had whenever you were 20 whenever you were 30 and no one knows you don't have real teeth exactly you know? A lot of times you've had people who have dentures that they look just almost too perfect and you know they look too white they look too just all in a row and that's that's not really what we want what we want is something that looks lifelike especially for you and so that's different for everyone I'm gonna tell you right now when you go to town with one of those right there yeah. you're gonna tear through some stuff my most favorite thing to say is all right now go try that out tear it up <laughs> yeah, just don't use it as a tool. <laughs> yeah, Opening exactly. beer bottles and, and, and... We don't warranty it for the beer bottles. <laughs> no, yeah. beer bottles. And I think we'll probably know if you have beer bottle chip on one of those. I think oh, we yeah. know it. They're fun service to, services to provide. Right. Fun prosthetics to make. You know, starting the laboratory has really expanded our vision for placing these implants and has given us ideas, really, for right. ways to get creative you know sometimes I have a patient give me a really skinny budget and you know I almost look at it as a fun challenge because right. you know there's 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 something usually that can be done for everyone and and it's literally to the point where sometimes I have to go you know I gotta think about that I don't know you know let yeah. me work on it and um, you know it's something that 
we usually find a way to get it done. We really do. And, and uh, you know, it's something that's, that's fun to provide. Yeah, and one of the nice things about the lab that I've really noticed is it gives you the ability and the leniency to create. Absolutely. And whereas if, if you're trying to use uh, a laboratory that's, let's say, that you have to ship to that's, that you're not involved with in any way, there's always an infinite informational breakdown, and that's always the case. Because you tell them, hey, I want this for this patient, and they don't always interpret the, that the same way that you or I would. The nice thing about having laboratories, many times we're the ones doing the, the scanning in the laboratory and drawing the margins on things, creating things the way that we see that's going to work best for the individual patient. And that's the beauty of it, I think, is we not only look at things from the surgical, but also the prosthetic. What are these going to look like? How are they going to function? And that's one I think of the big differences that we have is that we're able to do that in a way that you just can't do whenever you're shipping it to a lab that you don't have an association with. Start at your smile and work backwards yeah. to the implants. You know, that's, that's the key, you know, and that's what, you know, when you're the person, you know, I, when I first started the lab, I was the only person that worked in it. I'd get done doing dentistry here at 5.30 at night, and then, you know, I'd eat a bite here in our break room, and at six o'clock to 10, 11, 12, whenever, I did that for six months, and my wife almost killed me. But, but you know, I couldn't, I, until I could master it, I couldn't bring other people in because it's something that I needed to be able to train and control. And, and it's something that I didn't see coming was that it was going to make me so much better of a dentist. It gives you and new eyes. I totally see patients differently now because of that sort of progression. And, and you know, when you are the person that, that hates the guy who placed the implants because you got to build their prosthetic you will place those implants better in the future and easier. It's, these are hard cases and, and communication to the lab is something that's just a must and a constant. And that's really why we started the lab so that you know, that communication barrier is, is really taken down because it caters to us. It does serve a few other dentists, but you know, for the most part, this is our own lab that customizes our prosthetics purely for us. So it's a proud service that we have. And that's the real game is how can we make this, how can we do this in as few trips as possible so that you don't have to drive as far as much. That way we can start to, if someone's from, I know that I've got patients coming from, uh, I'm a little bit more south, so I have patients coming from, uh, from Arkansas mm -hmm. uh, because of what we're able to provide and, and realistically at the price point that we're able to do it at, we can do things in a lot faster trips. And so that really appeals to people, especially whenever you're coming from a state away. Mm -hmm. It makes it more real. If you, have to, if you come to someone and say, hey, we can do this for you, it's going to take five trips. Mm -hmm. And they're coming from 300 miles away, that's a big issue. If mm -hmm. you have someone say, hey, I can see you twice. Can you right. make the trip? If you can make the trip two times, it'll save you $5,000. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. You know, everybody wants to know how much implants cost. All you have to do is give us a call. We'll set up your consult, and we'll let you know. This has been Health on the Hunt Line.